banana bread. First, you're gonna really need some bananas. Really not rotten enough. She says she likes them rotten. Not close. So we're gonna put them in here. What comes next? You have to smush them up with the smusher upper. They're not really ripe enough, but I'm making it anyway. What do you call that that tool? Potato masher. It's a potato masher. Also, it could be a banana masher now. Rice ricer. That's how you do it. You gotta get it really smushed. The right consistency. All Turn smushed. It off or not? It's gonna go to 350, it's on its way. So we're cooking that up. We've gotta get, um, what are we looking for? Vanilla. Yeah. So she's got some secret things here. But she's gonna put in it. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a vegan uh, type of banana bread. Sugar and flour. We're gonna need some of this baking powder. The joy of cooking. We're gonna open it up too. There's the recipe if you guys need it. I'm gonna hold it here for a couple seconds so you can get it. Okay, good. I'm gonna do our spritzer. First, gotta wash the lemon. That's a delicious celery juice right there. All right, we're gonna cut some stuff up. We're gonna drink our celery juice. Not facing you. Measuring stuff, you need this. So you get the right amounts, um, which is called Earth Balance Soy Free. But we are gonna have an egg in there. We're gonna need a sifter. Put the sifter on there. All right, we're gonna need a knife to get it perfectly done. This is how you do it. Put it in the sifter. It calls for, I believe, just one. One in a, looks like one and a half, right? Cups. Could you like throw a word in there so we know what we're doing? Oh, a, a cup and three quarters? Yeah. All right, a cup and three quarters, then you shake it. Baking powder. Two and a quarter teaspoons. Two and a quarter teaspoons. You're gonna use your little knife. See, she gets it perfect that way. And liberally spreads it around. There we go. Bam. Things to do during the quarantine. A little, uh, what's that one there? Quarter. Quarter. Bam. All right. Now we gotta get some sugar in there. Half a teaspoon of salt. We can get the thing to open. Find your half a teaspoon. Don't burn it. Bam, done. We're gonna put it over there. Now we're gonna make our wet mixture. We're gonna need sugar. And we're gonna need, how much sugar are we putting in there? Two-thirds. Two-thirds of a cup. So that's one. Two. Oh. All right. Bam. Done. Put the sugar away. And we've got some good news. We're at 350. The oven is ready. And I guess we need some brown sugar. And we're just going to put a little bit in there. Get a third a cup of butter. We're just going to scoop it out of there. If we can get it out with a knife, don't want to waste not want not, right? Okay. Okay. We need a little bit of lemon rind. Got to figure out which side we're going to use. Probably the very small one. How much lemon rind do you put in? A quarter, three quarters. Of a teaspoon? Three quarters of a teaspoon. I did a little more. You like a lemony, don't you? Don't get your knuckles with that thing. That would ouchy. 
That should be it. Yeah. Okay. Chop her up with a knife. Put an extra lemony zest. And we throw it right in there. Get it all scraped up. Yeah, done. We're gonna plug that in. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. What's the egg? Cream cake. So you kind of do this first with the butter. Next, we got our egg. And this here, smush it in there, drain it all out. See, so to beat the egg, it's been very bad. It's pretty beating. And we pour it in. Put it all in there, but you don't want to miss any. So you use that little spoon thing. Bam. Here comes the banana. Scrape it all out, nice and yummy. And that's in there, bam. Now what's gonna happen? Okay, here we go. You notice we slowed down the uh, mixing thing. And we're kind of slowly disperse it in there. Do some more. Like a three step process. It I meant there. to put the um, opposite, the flour in the smaller one and the eggs in the bigger one, so I could have room to do it. 
So what, what do you do next? I just need to beat it better and more in a deeper bowl because it's going to fling out. Oh, yeah. So you put your flour and dry stuff in the smaller bowl and your eggs and cream and butter in the bigger bowl. You get it backwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well. So how long do you need to beat it? It looks pretty it's beaten. It's all done. She's not letting any of that go get it all out of there. Okay, back to the beating. Okay, so how's that thing work? It's a black and decker, huh? Press that button and those things are supposed to fall out. There we go. All right, it's like it's Back in there, very small drops. Ooh, it's gonna be very delicious. Clean it off that thing, put it there. And just mix it in. You need cinnamon? I didn't. I could. Do I have any cinnamon sugar left? I don't know. We're going to add a little cinnamon sugar, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at that. Nice. This is a Glade person seal. I'm going to use this for... I think something to do with getting the butter in there. So she's going to smush all the butter out. This way she can get it in her fingers. Got to grease the pot. Brilliant idea, by the way. Pan is greased. Start with one. See if I can get the other one. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how much we got. We're going to use the big uh, spatula thing. She's not wasting anything. Okay, here we go. Put it right in there. And notice how she moves the bowl. She's so beautiful. So just one. Do you think we're going to just have one? Mm -hmm. I mean, just enough to make one cake. Barely. Or bread, I mean. I would call it cake, though, wouldn't you? Barely enough. I should have had more bananas, but I didn't. This will be fine. That's it. Now you got your batter in your greased uh, pan. And the next thing we got to do is put her into the uh, oven. Will that fill the whole thing when it gets bigger? That cooks? We usually fill the pan like two thirds because it'll rise. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, now all we gotta do is stick it in the uh, the oven. Set it at 350. And we're gonna put some powdered sugar right on top. No. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, what is it? Brown. Brown sugar. That's a great idea. I didn't think about that. All right, this baby's ready to go in, I think. I do have some dishes to do, don't I? And she's putting a little bit more of the uh, cinnamon sugar on top. 
PS10 resistance. Here we go. Going into the oven. 350 degrees. How long do we leave it in there? About an hour. About. We're going to need one of these things. So apparently, we've got a situation here. That's 350 degrees, so you got to be. Probably should want to do that before. <laughs> All right, it's in there. All right, close it. And an hour from now, we're gonna go back in. Right now, it's about 11.20. Setting the timer for uh, 45 minutes. Yeah. 45 minutes, we're gonna check it and then see if it needs more. All right, 45 minutes for later, it's ready. We're gonna loosen her up, slap it on a plate and uh, give it a try. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff during the quarantine. Peace out. Stay safe, world.